This, ladies and gentlemen, is what happens when your opponent fails to ban a god. Hello everybody and welcome to this amazing game of Boxura vs. Amuz and Cobb. Oh, this is going to be a pain in the butt. Oh boy, uh, mostly because my opponent here is, um, well, my opponent is on Moosing Cop, which means he has a disarm which will slow me down and that's a pain in the butt and you can kind of CC immune the disarm with your ultimate if you do it right. I'm not going to do it right. I'm kind of tired. I had a really good weekend. I was trying to just relax on Sunday, but I got to come make videos daily, so that, that means I got to do things and I stayed up really freaking late just to make sure that I Binding of Isaac video went up and blah blah blah. So anyways, I know 90% of you goobers did not even watch the, uh, there it is. Okay, so we're going this way. Yeah, you didn't think. You didn't think. But I did. Yeah, get out of here. So I have a heal, thank goodness. We'll go ahead and get rid of the hive and start wailing on these. There we go. That'll teach him. Alright, so we're going to try my best to use what little mana I have left to uh, take a buff. I need to get rid of the hive so he doesn't come over here with freaking movement speed. We need to knock it down to about 25%. He can get here pretty fast. There we go, we got it. Now if we kill this, we'll get a nice movement speed boost when we get the hell out of here. It's most likely going to push the lane. We're going to finish Itchable. It's nice and cheap, lots of early power. I don't need boots this early, uh, especially since I'm in the lead. Get all my mana back. He's going to go for the other attack speed, which is not getting any movement speed, so he can't necessarily get away from me if I take out the minions, and I just got to maintain this kind of uh, advantage. Oh boy. All right, let's see. I also have to make sure I take all the hives I can. My AoE basics will help me make sure that hives go down pretty quick. And especially since I'm getting the kill here. Oh, he didn't go for the other red. So we're just going to take that. There's no way I could dive him with only two minions. So I need to make sure that I... Uh... Oh, crap. Am I going to miss it? Yeah, I missed it. Damn it. Just trying to maintain my... Uh... Oh, he came out a little bit. Trying to maintain my movement speed buff. Here we go. Down. All right, we're doing pretty good. We're keeping him down. Uh, Amuz and Cobb just really doesn't, uh, really doesn't do well against Bakasura because of no escapes, and I can maintain an advantage all day long against him. So I can go ahead and take what I got back. Grab uh, boots because I need to get faster. Actually, I could probably wait for the 50. I really shouldn't, but I can. Because I need the attack speed. We're going for all attack speed. This is a theory craft of that one guy's build. Um, a lot of people are trying to name who it was that I got it off of, and so far everybody's been wrong. It is not Sora, it is not Keeks, it is not Baina. It It's just some guy with a very awkward name that there's no way in hell I could remember if I put all my memory to it. So, don't try. It is that one guy. And I will not credit anybody unless I were to remember exactly who it was. Because I don't want to give credit to somebody. And on top of that, it might not even be their build. They might be taking it from somebody. Blah, blah, blah. So, with that being said, we're just going to pressure the crap out of this. Oh, this is a shitty game. Won't let you F6 feels bad. What? Wait, wait. When this shitty game won't let you F6 feels bad. What? Oh, I'm taking too much damage. Two seconds. He's got his alt too, though. Okay. When this shitty game won't let you F6. Feels bad, man. Should have. I mean, yeah, so the banning phase, he's. He, uh, he skipped both his bans. Don't know why he, uh, thought that was a good idea. Um. Okay. 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 All right. Well, whatever you think, there, crazy lady. Whee! 
I mean, honestly, he's 100% wrong on that. Um, having this kind of attitude is definitely not a good way to get yourself going, that's for damn sure. Um, I don't know, he's just, that, that was pretty, I don't know, like I said, he chose not to ban anything, and that's gonna be his downfall on everything here. It's so simple, if you, if you think you're such a badass that you're gonna play on Moose and Cobb and say, I'm not gonna ban either of my opponents, it doesn't matter, I'm on Moose and Cobb, and then someone picks Bakasura and creams you in the first few minutes of the game, it's probably not the best idea to skip your bans. Maybe you should ban Bakasura. I mean, that's why I ban Boxer. It absolutely matters who you ban. Alright, look, I'll just... Oh, I'm disarmed. Shit, that's why I got a speed boost. Alright, there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and take that. My red buff is back. I'm gonna be... Taking this. I don't know if I can. I mean, probably could. Run all the way to red. Or can I dive through? Eh, it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna take his buffs. Take his hives, take his buffs. I mean, for as much as I've actually already damaged his tower, it's pretty much going to go down here shortly. Um, this build actually does pretty good, because you get pretty healthy, um, and you are capable of making some serious good pushes. I don't care. You know, I'm actually back for the Soul Eater. It's very important that I get Soul Eater and Hasten. Soul Eater, let's work on that. Hasten. Is he even getting... Oh, he got level 1 Sprint, but that's not going to be enough. He's going to be able to run from me normally, uh, but... Oh, that's a buff down on me. I think I let him have red by mistake. Darn. There we go. Still good speed. Oh, no, he did not take red. He's just defending. His clear is really good, so what he's doing is he's using a combination of probably his honey and uh, the bees to take out, um, take out the wave. Need this. I just need to go take the other red, make money for Hasten so I can end the game. Uh, he's got boots and transcendence, so he's not upping his own uh, attack speed or anything, which is what makes Amuzan Cup pretty good. Not even gonna lie. Already took that. He's already gone. So we're gonna get as many minions as I can. Hopefully, he doesn't wipe them all. I've got six for an ult, so I can dive right now. He's got no defense. He can't possibly win the fight against a Moosin' Cobb. I'm not a Moosin' Cobb, Bakasura. Just because, like I said, he has no escape. So just go ahead and remove some hives. Get, get, get out of here. Get out. Take that. As long as I take out hives, we're pretty good. I think I can afford the Hasten Fatalis, which will make me run faster than Frostbound, which will slow him down and uh, give me more health to survive his burst damage. And I should have stayed for a little bit of more mana, but I didn't. This is kind of why I feel that everybody should ban Bak- Or, I did feel that everybody should ban Bakasura, but it really depends on the god you're playing. Um, Bakasura is not required to be banned on certain gods. Like, Apollo's very good against Bakasura. He's stupid good against Bakasura. Um, because he can mez Bakasura two seconds after Bakasura ults, and then it wastes Bakasura's ult. Oh, I took a hit. Ouch. Take that out. Yeah, see? Takes just a split second to clear, don't mind me, buddy. Oh, he is chasing. Okay. That was, uh... That was kinda stupid. I'm not gonna lie. That... That... I don't know. That was stupid. Like, I could not justify the actions of walking outside of Phoenix range and thinking you were honestly going to kill me. Uh, you've got Sprint, sure. Fantastic, I'll give you that. But you do not have anything else worthwhile. 
Kill them again. I've got minions, I've got an archer. I can only take out the hives. Darn. Oh well. Four seconds return. I gotta be careful, I can't fight again. Uh, instead, we're gonna get frostbound. That's more health, more that I can take in as well, so I can take a lot more damage. Uh, he doesn't have any defenses yet, so I don't need an Executioner instead of Ikaival yet. Uh, but we will be exchanging Executioner for Ikaival late game. Uh, we're going to get into Mayan to defend myself and all of my wonderful health. He's walking out. Give me a movement speed buff. Armor debuff. Kill him. Yeah, this is that's the power of Bakasur. Honestly, 10 minutes in. 7 to 0. Um, okay. Anyways, uh, it, it just comes down to Amu's income has no escapes, and you have to use the disarm properly to really get the win. This was a pretty awkward game, but thank you everybody for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and as always, good game. Alright, so I'm going to put good game here, and welcome to the end screen, everybody. I do apologize. Uh, I, I really wish I had time to do more games, but I, I only have time for this one. Um, so my opponent didn't want to play anymore, apparently. Uh, holy crap. That was... Okay, so let's go over on Muzenkov versus Bakasura and how this really works. Uh, Bakasura has probably one of the most devastating ults in a 1v1 joust when he can turn his basic attack into AoE, deal 72 dra true damage per basic attack, and just wail into you. Um, being that you have no allies to CC, you're relying on yourself to stop him. His ultimate gives him a 2 second CC immunity from startup. Uh, so if you disarm him, he can cleanse, disarm, and then go right for you. Uh, so you have to be careful when he ults. Additionally, you can't just afford to uh, not rush tier 2 sprint. He went to bluestone, which was okay in the beginning, I guess for clear, but again, in the sense that he had to fight Bakasura, that's not prepping him for the proper fight. Uh, though it does more damage, he wasn't really going to outpoke me when we both got caught at red. That's my red. If if you know tight time, you know you just don't go to the left, your left. It's my right red. My right red is my red. That is the meta. And if you think that's going to change anytime soon because somebody tells you the other side's better, no. It's my red. It's going to happen. You're going to fight me if you come to my red. And most of the time, I win it. So, anyways... Getting back to the point, um, the archival that other guy's build, it, with the archival start, worked very well against other physical gods because you reduce their power by 30. And it is a very cheap buy, especially since you own half of it and require only 1,100 gold to pick up the other half and get the full pen, attack speed, and the debuff and buff from this. It's pretty ridiculous of an item for early game. But late game, this item is just not nearly as good as majority of every other item in the game. What makes a Kaival so good is you pick it up as one of your first items, take advantage of how cheap that build was and how fast your stats spike, but remember that by the end of the game you need to switch a Kaival out for something far more viable, whether it be an Executioner, you lose about half the attack speed, but you get far more pen, uh, you also get more power, you get the same amount of power with Executioner, uh, but you do lose half that attack speed. And even though you lose half the attack speed, you do have a Haste and Fatalis to keep up with that. Plus, you are picking up Soul Eater and Ninja Tabbies. And if you really need to, you could always pick up Chin Size in the uh, sixth slot. Uh, but Chin Size is something we got to talk about later because that item is very good. My opponent just really wasn't building much. They were so far behind they only got two items built. Transcendence being a very expensive item, 2,600. That's a standard hunter build. I think if he was going to go with Soul Eater, he would have done better. Uh, but had he started with the way I did, he would have been okay because with that, he would have actually had very fast attack speed and uh, would have dealt a good amount of damage. Um, honestly, the way, with the way he played it, it was just too open for me to really say how he could change other than he needs to learn to ban. The big thing about how this game started was he skipped both his bans and he says it doesn't matter. Well, the problem is if you let Kronos through, which I did not, um, it, it's in Kronos' favor. It really does matter that you prevent gods who are extremely powerful from getting in. You have your two gods you cannot handle and you can ban them. And then you can deal with the rest. Uh, I can't deal with Kronos. He's a dick. He's just overpowered. Um, my other god is either Hu Yi, sometimes Bakasura. Depend if I were to play AMC, I would probably ban Bakasura, to be honest. 
um, and Who Yee's another ban. I never ban Hell personally, but I understand why others do, and I rely on other people to ban Hell in order for me not to fight Hell. But for the sake of this build, the other, that other guy's build, it works well on Boxer, Kali, and Hu Yi so far. Works well on Boxer because it works on his true damage. Also, Boxer does rely on attack speed. A lot of people will say, oh hey, Boxer doesn't deal a lot of damage. His 70 true damage is probably one of the most powerful things in this game. Dealing true damage is serious because you don't even need penetration for that to deal damage. 70 true damage is always 70 damage. The only way to stop that damage is to be immune to damage. You cannot mitigate true damage. So, as you're, if you're ever wondering why those that those butcher blades hurt so bad when he's wailing into is because they're dealing 70 damage per basic attack plus his basic attack and anything else that applies to it i'm not 100 percent sure if the uh if the uh true damage can crit um i think it's still counted as ability damage but i know for a fact that true damage is it's 70 every single hit and you can't stop it so the best thing to do is just get some health uh, and try to not get him to attack you. Get slow so he slows down because his whole kit is based on getting that attack speed up and just devouring you, which is why I think Bakasura fits his lore so well with his kit. Thank you everybody for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and as always, good game.